Do you struggle with music theory and specifically with writing chord progressions? Ableton Live 12's generative tools can generate pretty decent chords with inversions while staying in key, so it's a pretty neat feature for people who aren't so good with music theory. But in this case, you are programming the chords and you are not playing them with your hands. However, there is another massive update to one of life's built-in MIDI effect devices that lets you actually play the chords just by hitting a single note on your keyboard. And playing the chords manually allows for better rhythmical expression than just entering them with the mouse. And yes, I'm talking about the chord MIDI effect. And yes, we've had it since forever. Life 12's updated version may not look drastically different, but trust me, it is much, much better. Let me show you. For those of you who are not super familiar with the chord device, let's first see how it works in general. Essentially, the idea is that you send a single note to it and it adds notes on top of it, making an interval or a chord. So let's say plus three, plus seven, and by hitting any note, this will give us a minor chord. To visualize this, we can drag and drop the MIDI monitor before and after. So as you can see, we are sending one note in and three notes come out. Now the problem with this is that as you play your chords, it always plays the same chord regardless of which note you are hitting. Which can actually sound kind of cool, but by doing that, some of the chords will be out of key. And with the new update to the chord device in Life 12, we now have the option to have the notes conform to the scale that we've set. So we can hit that button and as you can see up here, I've set my scale to F minor, so it will make sure all the notes that we play are from the key of F minor. What we can do now is just hit learn and send it a chord from our MIDI keyboard. So now I will play a C minor 7 chord. Hit learn again, and now I can play this chord just by hitting a single key. So if I hit F, Place that chord and I can adjust the velocities of each note in the chord. But the thing is, since we've enabled scale aware, it will not play the minor chord for every degree of the scale. Even if we are in a minor key, some chords should be major. For example, in the key of F minor, if we play a chord with the root of D flat, it should be a major chord. And Scaleware feature enables just that. It makes sure we're playing the correct chord to stay in key. If we turn off Scaleware, we're playing D flat minor. If we turn it on, D flat major. So playing progressions with just hitting a single key, super easy. And again, without Scaleware, Now, obviously, if you have advanced music theory knowledge, you can actually play any chord and not conform just to the chords that are in a certain key. However, I feel this would be very beneficial to people who are just starting out or haven't fully grasped the basics of music theory yet. And just to clarify, I definitely encourage you to learn music theory as much as possible and not use crutches like this feature. This is very good to start out but in the long term, you need the music theory. And by the way, if you look closely when the scale feature is enabled, the transpositions are not in semitones, but in scale degrees. It says SD down here, but it gets even better. We can have the strum options. So this will make sure that not all notes in the chord occur at the same time, just like when you're playing on a piano or a guitar. And the tension control makes sure that our strum is more natural, so the distance between the notes gets shorter with each successive note, if that makes sense. And this crescendo option down here, the velocity, will be low for the initial notes of the chord and then it gets higher. Ok, 
Okay, so I've added a little bass line here. So this works well with basic triads, seventh chords, probably even ninth chords. However, when we have like an 11th chord, which is comprised of six notes, it can get kind of weird. So let's check out this progression that I did here without the scale aware feature. So again, this is the old behavior from the old chord device. When we enable scale aware, it actually gets worse. So the takeaway from this is that these music theory helpers can only go so far. With more complex chords that may sometimes use notes outside of the scale, the whole scale aware thing doesn't work as well. So you can look at it as kind of training wheels on a bicycle. It can be helpful when you are a beginner, but ultimately if you want to express yourself freely with music, you have to develop your musicality and music theory knowledge as much as possible. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments, guys. Give the video a like if it was useful and you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to get more of these videos in your YouTube feed. Check out my sample packs and my Ableton Live packs from the link down in the video description. And I will catch you later.